Hey what is up guys, Mikey Goats here bringing you another Madden 18 card review and today I'll be reviewing cornerback Ross Cockwell for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He is an 81 overall core elite with chemistries of Pittsburgh Steelers and physical front. He stands at the height of 6 foot with 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 81 agility, 74 man cover, 79 zone cover, 79 press, 79 play rec, and 72 catching. Also on Mutthead his ratings show 78 in man. 81 in zone, 82 in jump ball, 88 in range, 81 in hands, 87 in run support, and 85 physicality. As always, I will be showcasing both Mutt squads and head-to-head -head gameplay in this review. He will be replacing both Bradley Roby and Eli Apple at the number 2 cornerback position, which as you can see, both cards beat him on almost everything except for Eli Apple and catching. And as I kick out this card review, Ross Cockwell will always be located on the left side of the field, uh, at the start of every single play and usually will be going against the number two wide receiver. The first thing I want to talk about in this review is, in my opinion, one of the worst things about this card and that's how he felt when being usered and his some of his animations. When it comes to it, his animations are decent and a majority of the time, sometimes, he will get horrible animations. Especially whenever you're in a position to intercept it or even deflect it, sometimes he will not get an animation at all. He will just kind of wave his hands or just kind of trip up sometimes. And when using, he just felt super resistant, stiff. Each time I tried to turn, he will not go the correct way on the correct time. And his acceleration is not the best, so if you use him, do not put him in coverage and definitely do not put him in press. Because if he gets if he presses them at the line, he will get beat at the beginning. So if you do you do use him, put him in zone and back him up. Do not rely on his speed to get there all the time. And as you see in some of the footage, um, some a lot of them are me usering or switching at the last minute because I do not trust this card at all when I'm using him um, for the entire season of head to head and mutt squads. Each time I had him on the field, I would always user him or make sure someone would switch on the last minute to try and get a decent animation. And so far, um, overall of using him, the best animation that you can get from him is pretty much a SWAT animation to tip it up and hopefully your teammate will be there to pick him off. And as you see in these last two clips, I did get interceptions. Those were the only inter interceptions I got with him and they were usering. And I was the one to be using him from the beginning all the way to the end. And even when I did get the interception, it was, it just felt like it resisted me um, trying to go for the ball and just wanted to go in the opposite direction, even when the quarterback inaccurately placed it towards me. Next up, I'll be talking about man coverage, which I did mention a little bit earlier. Um, as you see in these clips, some of these routes are man beaters, but still to the fact that when putting him in man cover, he kind of just stays still, does not really move with the flow of the receiver. He kind of just stands there and just watches. Unlike Tavon Young, the one I reviewed last week, he lingered and kind of stayed with him and was aware enough of where the ball was. With Cockrell, he just, just went blank. He did not even care about where the ball was or just looked lost at most times, especially when um, the computer took control. And next up, I'll be showcasing some of his uh, tackling abilities. And for me, it's pretty much a hit or miss with him. He's not guaranteed to get every single tackle, but if you want a better chance with him, you definitely need to have him in front of the ball carrier. If he comes from behind, he will have a tendency to be dragged, beat from the get-go, or even just pretty much shrugged off no matter who it is. And definitely with that combination of how terrible, in my opinion, he was in coverage, to me, he's a liability. He will not even decently surprise you or wow you or any kind of way he's more of a letdown because from last year especially he definitely was good but this year just not the best and last but not least is his ability to go against the run slash block shit with this card uh, no matter who the receiver was or the blocker he was unable to get any type of animation to block shed them and get around them Especially what bugged me the most about this card was the fact that even though I went against speedsters that are not the best at blocking for running, he would get hooked. As soon as they grab him, he's pretty much out for the rest of the game. So definitely do not rely on this card. If you do get him, do not rely on him for the running game. And overall, with the way this card uh, played onto the field, it was just horrible in my opinion. Uh, especially even with my teammates that would say he was horrible. They hated having him on the field. He's definitely a liability in my opinion because he would be the reason why 
early on the opponent would see he's a weakness and take advantage of his side and get so many touchdowns on the scoreboard uh, right off the get-go or he would be the reason why they would have a huge comeback at the end and I would definitely not recommend this card no matter what uh, the only time I can see someone getting this card is if they're a Steelers fan or if they just want to try it out one time but even with him averaging at 6,000 on Xbox and 5,000 on PS4 at the time of making this video it shows on Mutthead I definitely do not I definitely don't see anyone getting this and I definitely recommend not or just pretty much avoid him and as you can see it's Vernon Hargreaves on the screen he will be my next cornerback card review for next week and like always if you want a different position or a different player that has not had a review yet definitely comment below or message me let me know that you want to see that video and I'll try my best to try and get it and hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully this was helpful, and like always, if you like the content and you want more like this, definitely hit that subscribe button, like it, and let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys later.